Hello everyone. Today we are going to make a very cool and useful thing, namely a small centrifugal pump. In the future, I want to apply it in one design, but this will be a different video. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the Invex Lab channel yet, then click the subscribe button and let's get started. To make such a small centrifugal pump, you will need a powerful 9 volt motor and pieces of plastic. The pump body will be metal. I'll make it out of a can of pate. First of all, you need to fix the motor in this case. For this pump, I will use this powerful 9 volt motor. It was previously installed in a light dynamic installation. There it rotated the entire structure, so I think that the power of this motor should be enough for this small pump. Now I will smear this joint with sealant. And you can collect everything. The basis is there, now you can make the pump impaler. First, I will make a base out of hard plastic, that is, a circle on which the blades of the impeller will be attached. The pump impeller will be attached to the motor shaft using a pulley like this. I took it from an old disk drive. The pre-hole is ready. And now I'm trimming the edges with a homemade miniature engraver. The blades of the impeller I will make from a cut of the sewer pipe, whose diameter is 50 millimeters. It remains only to make the pipes, for draining water, the pipe will be from the filter from the dropper. And for supplying water, from the syringe. The hole in the housing is ready. And it only remains to glue this branch pipe in its place.
let's wait for the glue to harden. Now I will attach the pump impeller to the motor shaft. This pulley is held firmly enough on the shaft. And the impeller will not turn under water pressure. But just to be sure, I'll drop a little super glue on the motor shaft. The pump is almost ready. It remains only to make a cover on which the water supply pipe will be attached. I also made the cover for the pump housing out of a tin can. Here I have already previously made a hole on which I will glue the nozzle made of a syringe. I initially wanted to seal the pump cover, but then changed my mind and just fixed it with hot glue. The pump is ready and it's time to check it. The experimental setup is ready. There is a container with water and a homemade centrifugal pump, let's see if it can pump water. The first time I started the pump. It didn't work because I got the power polarity wrong. This caused the impeller to rotate in the other direction. I corrected this misunderstanding and the result was much better. Now the pump is working perfectly. But a small problem, I think, is that the water supply pipe is too small in diameter. The pump does not have time to collect enough water. Now I will try to put a shrink tube on the exhaust pipe to narrow the water drain hole a little. I think the pump will work even better. The tank has run out of water, and the pump begins to capture air. I replaced the water supply pipe, that is, I installed a larger diameter pipe. Let's see what the result will be. Well, the pump works perfectly. In just 5 seconds, he had drained all the water from the tank. Homemade centrifugal pump really works very cool. As the test showed, 
a homemade centrifugal pump made of cans and scraps of plastic works great. In one of the following videos, I want to use it in one of the designs. If you want to see what happens, then click the subscribe button to be aware of all new changes on the Invex Lab channel. This concludes this video. If you like it, then click like and show it to your friends. I thank you for watching this video and bye. But this will be a different video, and today, there won't be this video. Without power, it doesn't work at all. Put likes because my eye is already twitching.